Hi guys, welcome to the 45th video of Love Bubble 450 question series. We are doing link list. And uh, I just want to tell you one thing that today I have a college test, so I won't be able to do a lot of questions. I will do some easy uh, to moderate level problems, which require, you know, just basic logic building. But please do watch the video just to get a good revision or whatever. Okay, so like, share it with all your friends and subscribe. Please like the video, guys. It will motivate me and subscribe also. So the link of the playlist will be in the description and uh, even the questions link. Today's first problem is remove duplicates from unsorted array. Sorry, unsorted linked list. Yesterday we saw a sorted linked list. Okay, I hope you have seen yesterday's video where we have removed duplicates from sorted. Now the array is unsorted. So now what to do? So when the array is unsorted, so we will have to now deal with two things. First is time and space complexity. So if, if you say I want the space complexity to be O of one, then your time complexity will become O of n square because you have to traverse the linked list every time to check for duplicate. And also most important is you have to maintain the relative order. For example, in this problem, 5, 2, 2, 4, you cannot sort it and say 2, 4, 5 is the answer. You have to maintain the order. So that brings us to, you know, optimizing we will have O of n space and we will have O of n time also. So how to bring this O of n space? Let us see that. How to bring it to O of n space? Let me just copy this. So basically we will just be having a Boolean vector. Okay. So we will be having a Boolean vector, Boolean array. Okay, Boolean array. And uh, initially all the values in that will be zero. So according to the question, maximum limit is 10,000. So I've kept the array size as 10,001. Now we will traverse through the linked list and we will see if A of P data is false. That means it is not visited. Okay. Then we will make it true and we will put it in the answer vector. This V vector is our answer, which will contain only distinct elements in the same order as that in the linked list. So we can use a Boolean array to find out if we have already seen an element or not. Okay. So I made use of O of n space and this is better than set unordered set all that because I think sometimes, uh, I don't know, maybe log n time it will take or whatever. I'm not so sure. But on an average case, you can use a map also or set, unordered set. Maybe it will take off one time. I just used a Boolean array and it is preferable to use this only. In interviews and all, they will not know set map and all that. Boolean array, they will know because it is universal, right? And then just make the new linked list with the answer vector V. And return the new head. So we don't need this. So this is how you remove duplicates from unsorted array with help of Boolean vector. Now it brings us to our next problem, which is uh, move last element to first. So our second problem of the day will be move last element to front of linked list. So do front of linked list. So what does this mean? Let us take an example. So I'll remove this. I hope you're watching the video and doing it simultaneously. Please do that. So let us take a linked list. Uh, Say we have one, then three, then six, 10, 15. Say this is our linked list. 
we have to modify our linked list in such a way that it becomes 15, 1, 3, 6, 10. So this last element 15 has come over here. And this should be the head now. Initially, this was head. So how are we going to solve the problem? What can we do? In O of n, o of n time and O of 1 space, how to solve this? You know what? Let us traverse through the linked list and let us end up at second last node. Let us end up at the second last node. Okay, over here we are. Now what we will do? We have traversed through the linked list and now where we are? Second last node. Okay. So let me just mark it. We are here. So this is our second last node. This is our last node. Okay. Now what we will do? We will attach a link here. Okay. And break this link and make it null. And finally, we will make this last node as head. So see what has happened. This has become head node. And then the link is here. So this has become the link list. So what we did, we will reach to the second last node. We will make a link from the last node to the first node. And second last node link will become null because second last node will become the last node, right? And last node link will be null. So this is how you move an element in the last position to the first position. Let me show the code to you. So we will have our uh, head we will have head as a global variable only okay we will need a temporary node to traverse the linked list this is for uh, traversing and let us traverse now we have to traverse till the second last element so while temp next next is not equal to null this is because we have to traverse to the second last element right now what we will do? We have to just move temp. Temp equal to temp next. Then let us say node second last. That is equal to temp now. And node last is equal to temp next. Node last equal to what? Temp next. Now what we are supposed to do? Look at the diagram. We have reached the second last node. We have the last node. We have to say last next is head. We have to make this connection, right? See this connection here, we have to make that till the head. So let us do that. How to write? We will say last next equal to head. We will say second last next equal to null. And then finally, we have to make head as last. Don't forget this statement, head will become last. So change the link to the last. Last next will become head. Then second last next will become null because the second last variable will become, sorry, second last element will become the last element the node, whatever you're saying. And then the last element will become the head node. 
So head equal to last. Tell me if there is something wrong in this. Is it correct? Did you understand? Let me know in the comments. So that was this problem and uh, I'll have to take your leave now. I have a test to write. So thank you for watching and please keep supporting me like this. We are almost 700 subscribers. Please keep sharing, subscribing and keep solving, keep progressing, keep learning. Have a good day. Take care. Bye. Stay tuned.